I am is Darren Finkelstein, the proud owner and co-founder of St Kilda Boat Sales. My name's Karen Finnan. I'm a physiotherapist and the director of Physios Online. Hi, my name is Nevadita and I specialise in women's emotional wellbeing. Hi, my name's Christian Langeter and I specialise in the physical care of performance horses. I'm Vivian Kane and I have a business called Excite Print. Finally, there's a place to go for real entrepreneurs, real small business owners that want to do some real stuff. And this actually creates the space for them to roll out their sleeves, do a bit of hard work and, and create a great result. I wrote the book Key Person of Influence because I started to notice that there were certain people in every industry who were the standout people. What I noticed about them is that they all had the five common elements. So they were great at pitching, they had published content, they would uh, create products, um, raise their profile and do partnerships. A lot of people have got great products and services, but they actually can't express it very well. You know, if you just talk to business people, you'd be uh, surprised at how many of them can't articulate clearly and in a compelling way as to what they do. If you can't just talk about that freely with someone else, what sort of chance have you got to ever convince a client that your business is the way to go? So pitch was a really, really big deal for me um, and my biggest draw to KPI. It allowed me to understand what it was that I actually do and how complicated I made that. It was drummed into me to find that clarity, to find that direction and to be able to verbalise and specify exactly what I did. We spend a lot of time with our customers talking to them about what they're trying to do with their printing. We're very much about getting an outcome, not just taking an order. And helping them to craft it into an elevator pitch that's meaningful and powerful. You can see the penny drop, the, the light bulb goes off in their eyes and the smile comes on their face. And that's really rewarding. It's like being there at a birth of something. I'm seeing people that are coming and going, oh, now I can never write a book. We talked about the way that this book can build into my business and I kind of didn't get that. I realised how much knowledge was in my head. Once I went to write a framework for my book, I didn't need to consult anything else. It was all there. But Andrew then went to the whiteboard and explained all the different components of his business and how publishing fitted in. And at that point was sort of my, like my light bulb moment. It was, wow, I get this stuff. And 200 days later, I finished my book, I had it published, and it was delivered in boxes to my office. And now I've got a book, and that is so exciting. And my kids just can't believe it, that their dad, who keep, they keep reminding me that I failed school and I uh, never went through with university, could actually write a book. So if you, can, you can do anything if you put your mind to it and you understand the process. In that little moment in people's eyes when they go, I get it. I, yeah. I get it, it works. <laughs> I knew I had the passion and the motivation, but I needed a framework to follow. So the five-step framework was incredibly important to me. Figured out a formula and I just want to share that with you this afternoon. We've developed a product funnel. Before I came into KPI, I didn't really understand what that meant. And now I've got a really clear step-by-step -step process to achieve that. The real key person of influence does is they figure out what's the and conversation. How can you do this and that? And productize in a way that you play on your key strengths and not try and be something that you're not. Inspire you, motivate you, educate you on where the world is moving in social media. Just being a lot more public rather than hiding. It's why I did YouTube video. Um, it's much easier to understand what I do by seeing it. They can actually check their own horses and see if their horses require my sort of work. And some great tools and tips that you can start to put into place to build your brand, raise your profile and start to become a key person of influence. And, and that's what got me really busy really quickly. You can only ever do something great if you do it in partnership, and I'm hoping to give you just a little couple of examples of that today. So the reason partnerships are really so important is because uh, there's a huge condition that small businesses suffer from, which keeps them small. It's the very reason that they stay small. All about the illusion of limited resources. I've uh, been asked by a number of the boating um, associations through the boat shows to be a guest speaker at their events, so to be a keynote speaker at the boat shows, which both here in Melbourne and, and um, uh, Western Australia and also over in Sydney gives me the ability to spread my message beyond the borders that I already work from. I feel like I've got a whole group of people and a process that's going to be there forever. 
Partnerships are so fundamental to becoming a key person of influence. So it made logical sense for us to put together the KPI alumni group. I am really thrilled that there is an alumni group because I think we all wanted to cry on the last day of KPI. <laughs> similar business people with a similar passion that would bend over backwards to help me out in my business and I for theirs. They're all incredible people, like they're all up to amazing stuff. Being around that just makes you, it's infectious. Being part of the KPI alumni means that the momentum keeps pushing forward, the contact points keep pushing forward. You've always got people to pick you up when you're having one of those tough spots that we all hit in business. The one word that would sum up my KPI experience would be roller coaster. Just having to perpetually lean into the, the discomfort of the, of the whole experience is what made me get the most out of it. It's been life changing. Two words, could hyphenate them, but hey, I'm the author, I know how to do it. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the inner sanctum now. I know the secrets, I know what it takes. And now when I see the outcomes of some of the KPI graduates, it's astonishing. I mean, people have gone from like zero to a hundred in three seconds. That, that takes an individual from where they are now to a, a place that they couldn't even imagine they could be. It's because it's really, it's about everyone's individual journey and something coming out from them. The thing I'm excited about the future of KPI is I, I really think we're doing something different here. I don't think the market has seen anything like this. It's not people aspiring to be anything other than their own authentic self, you know, turned up times ten. And so I'm excited that I'm kind of like building this thing in reverse for my wish list of what I wish I had ten years ago.